What's going on, everybody? Kwaku here. Today, I bring you another redesign. So, currently, I've already looked at uh, Microsoft Edge, how it's gotten its Windows 11 redesign. I've looked at Microsoft Office and its Windows 11 visual update or redesign. And now we're taking a look at an unofficial redesign. This one is for Steam, as you see in the title. I'll show you guys in this video how it looks like. It's not perfect yet. It's still pretty bare bones and pretty buggy. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to get it for yourself. Um, and it's kind of a tedious process, but bear with me. Let's take a look at it in this video. Now, first off, let me start off by showing you guys what it actually looks like before I actually show the tutorial of this, how to get it. Now, this is made by one person and it's basically a patch over an old skin for Steam called Metro for Steam. Uh, all these things are free and open source for you to look at. Now, you can see that obviously Steam by default does have rounded corners, even though those pixels in the corner are still there. Steam does have rounded corners, but what's different is how you access settings. So settings is not right now, current iteration settings. You have to click this dot right here and then you see all of the options for Steam. Uh, you also have the store page. Apparently they said they have a new uh, game page that just has you know the updates to how the game looks like so let's click on that so this is the steam deck you can see the steam deck web page still looks relatively the same uh, let's actually take a look at a game that is more simple let's see maybe maybe death's door we'll do that so you can see with death's door here uh, you can see some of the corners are slightly rounded this main video corner is not rounded i think it's for obvious reasons but you have slight rounding on the corners there you scroll down just about everything has those slight rounded corners and also what you'll notice is the background of my overall steam is in a dark mode uh, and that is something that you have to install separately and again i'll show you how to do that and then the final thing I'll show you guys too is your downloads. So you can either click here to go to downloads and you see that how downloads is in Steam is not normally like this, um, but this is how it looks like here. So let's say if I wanted to update Power Wash Simulator, I can hit this play button right there and it says ready to launch uh, in a second. So there's a lot of things there and it's just interesting. Now let me show you guys how to install this for yourself. There's not too much of a difference in here. So let's jump into that tutorial. Now to get to installing this, what you wanna do is you wanna to navigate to these URLs. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to metroforsteam.com. And again, I'll put all four of these URLs inside the description box below. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to download Metro for Steam. Just click it, it'll start downloading. You pick a spot, it'll download. Uh, same thing here, you want to go to this Google Fonts link that I'll send you guys in the description box and you want to download the inter fonts, download the family, and then again, put it in a place that you will be able to easily find it. The next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to this GitHub link here and all you want to do is see this green here. You want to click that drop down where it says code. You want to hit download zip again keep that right in the same folder area as all the other ones that i just told you to install for easy access and then the last thing to get that dark mode theme that i have on steam right now you want to go to this github and you're going to want to go download this code as well again keep that directly where uh, everything else is just for easy access so the next step what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to that metro for steam 4.4 folder that you just extracted wherever you got it from wherever you saved it from and then you're going to want to just right click it and you're going to want to just copy it or press Control c next up you're probably going to want to create a folder called skins inside your steam folder and all you're going to want to do to do that is just in windows 11 you'll see new folder right above on your ribbon click that and you'll create a new folder otherwise you can right click on windows 10 and you'll see new right here. You'll see this kind of context menu new and then you'll hit folder and you'll get that as well. So once you have that folder skins folder, you'll click that and you'll see that I already have Metro for Steam in there. Basically, you're just going to want to copy the entire Metro for Steam folder uh, root inside this skins folder. So it's a separate folder just like that. You could just name it Metro for Steam. Now, once you have that, click it, open it up. You'll see that it is, in fact, opened up. 
Now keep this folder open because you're gonna jump into this often. Once you have the Metro for Steam folder created, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go back to your old Metro for Steam, all the downloads that you did for it, and look for that Metro for Steam Uno RW11 file. And then all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, you're gonna see that, open it up, you'll get into where you see all the styles, the caption, the colors, just highlight it all, copy it with control C and then paste it in here. And if it says anything to replace, replace it. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your Steam dark mode folder uh, in a separate window and go back to your Metro for Steam folder that you have inside your Steam direct root. So when you go into your Steam, you go to resource, scroll all the way down and you'll see WebKit. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy this WebKit and keep it, uh, take note of where it is because this is your original WebKit file in case you wanna revert back to the old Metro for Steam. So copy that, put it somewhere safe, don't keep it in the same folder as Steam Dark Mode Master. Uh, keep it maybe outside, just outside the folder so that you know that that is your original. But going back into your Steam Dark Mode Master, you'll click that and you'll see the WebKit folder right there, uh, the WebKit file right there and you, all you want to do is you want to drag it in to your WebKit uh, in your resource on the Steam itself. So when you click it, you'll drag it in and you'll just say, hey, I want to replace it. Now, the last step you're really going to want to do is you're going to want to go back and find that inter font that you downloaded from Google Fonts and you're going to just want to install that font. And it's a simple thing to do. All it requires to install uh, a font on Windows, whether it's 10, 11, 7, all those things, is you download the font, and then you can choose whether you want to download the variable font here, which I did. And then you're going to also go inside the static folder, double click that, and then just highlight it all. And then all you're going to want to do is in Windows 11, you'll have to hit show more options and hit install or install for all users, and that's it. So that's about it for the steps in how to get this skin working. Now, after you've done all of that, open up Steam just like you see in front of me right now. And then you're going to want to simply just go up to your Steam folder right here or the Steam drop downs up above. You want to go down to settings, click that. And then once you see settings right here for Steam, you can also then go to interface and then you'll go see default skin right there. You'll click that and you'll see Metro for Steam there. When you click that and then you hit OK, Steam will restart and it'll show what I showed you before. And just like that, you have put a skin on top of Steam on Windows, whether it's 10, 11, and so on. And you probably got exactly to this area where you got more rounding and things uh, for Windows 11 style theming. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and this was useful. It might have been a little confusing, but stay tuned for more tutorials like this on how to just skin Windows to kind of keep that feel of Windows 11. Stay tuned for more. My name is Kwaku, and I'll catch you guys later.